video you saw my bird feeder right here. So let me see what I got down nice and low. Holding my camera underneath like this. I'm gonna trigger the shutter button here. I can't exactly see what I'm getting, but I'll try a variety of different minute adjustments. See if I can get a dramatic shot here. We can also see what it looks like looking forward, like this ant crawling through the grass. I'm gonna tap my focus lock to focus on the grass in the foreground. So getting down nice and low, like an ant. You know, and I once realized I had this rip in my pants right here. And I said to my wife, why do you think I have that rip? And she said, well, what about when you're taking pictures? And I realized that so many times, you know, on assignment, I'd be working on getting a different viewpoint and I'd be kneeling. And I did that so often that my pants wore out. So as a professional photographer, I was always striving to find those different angles, something unique, something beyond the ordinary. Okay, so what about how a giraffe sees the world? Uh, Here's my normal human height. Uh, getting up onto a chair can, can be one thing, but then getting up on a table. So I'm getting up on a completely different area. And then I can whoops, take a photo uh, like this and maybe even hold the camera up higher so I can get uh, a, 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 a more of a different angle. I can go in portrait mode like this. I'm going to trigger, I'm holding it steady, triggering it from the side, and then shooting down like this, doing a variety of different angles. See how that comes out. So any way to get a different viewpoint is so essential with photography.